So we're going to talk about two specific mutations that could occur in a or in the LDL receptors gene and how those two specific mutations will affect specific cell processes that occur within a cell. So the first one we're going to look at is the mutation or even deletion of the exon 1 part of the LDL receptor gene and this gene or this part of the gene encodes the signal sequence for the LDL receptor and now we can think about what type of signal sequence a LDL receptor would have. So an LDL receptor would most likely have an endoplasmic reticulum signal sequence which means that when the protein that is made by that LDL receptor gene, uh, that protein will end up going to the endoplasmic reticulum, uh, eventually being transported via uh, transport vesicles to the plasma membrane, where the receptor will then embed itself in the plasma membrane to carry out its function. So if exon 1 is deleted and the LDL protein that is made can't make it to the endoplasmic reticulum because the signal sequence is needed for SRP molecules to bind to the LDL protein that is being made via the signal sequence. So the SRP molecules recognize a single signal sequence that would be on the LDL protein. And as a result of binding this molecule that is now made, this bigger molecule that consists of the LDL protein and the SRP molecules, the SRP then can bind to the endoplasmic reticulum, which has the SRP receptor, where then this LDL protein will go to the endoplasmic reticulum, be further modified, eventually, I should put an R here, eventually um, transported via transport vesicles to the plasma membrane so that it can actually get into like the lipid bilayer because a, a receptor, right, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be part of the cell's lipid or the cell's plasma membrane, right? It's going to span this area. But if, it, if the LDL receptor doesn't have a signal sequence that this SRP molecule can recognize, then none of this is going to happen. So this receptor is just going to be floating around within the cell and it's not going to make it into the plasma membrane where it can actually carry out its function within a cell. So that's the first mutation that would cause some problems in a specific process within a cell. And now we can think about what would happen if the gene that encodes the LDL receptor uh, protein had an issue with the ligand binding site. If the LDL receptor has an issue with the ligand binding site, that means one, it can't internalize its ligand, which is LDL. Um, and that would create an issue within a cell because you can't, the process of cell mediated endocytosis would not occur. So, cell mediated endocytosis is when a receptor binds to its ligand, and then and this is just the process that describes how that ligand makes it into a cell, and then you know what the cell does with the ligand, and then what the cell does with the receptor. So, in a normal functioning cell mediated endocytosis, the ligand binds to the receptor on the membrane and when it the way that it gets internalized is from these catherin coated uh well a pit first forms and then a catherin coated vesicle um then forms so these vesicles will transport these little ldl particles into the cell where they can be either um you know broken down by something like a lysosome which will come across and and break down um you know this whole structure to get down or break down the LDL particle in general 
And then the receptor that gets also internalized, which I should include, is like this whole this whole piece right here is going to be brought in. So you have two options. The first one is that the protein or, or the ligand can be used by the cell, which in this case the L or the the ligand for the LDL receptor can be uh, broken down by lysosomes, and then if we bring the receptor in, the receptor can then be recycled by something such as an endosome. So here, the whole process of cell-mediated endocytosis doesn't occur in a cell that has a mutation in exon 5 because the ligand binding site isn't working properly. So this ligand binding site, if you were to just look at this little section right here, if it can't bind the LDL, if it can't bind its ligand, right, like none of this, this whole thing isn't going to be able to come into the cell or internalize. The, the pits of the vesicles aren't going to occur. The lysosomes aren't going to be able to break anything down. The endosomes aren't going to be able to do any of its functions. The receptor is not going to be able to get recycled. And then no ligand is going to be actually be able to use by the cell. So that's a big issue if exon 5 is deleted is because you cannot have the function or you cannot, the, 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 the process of cell-mediated endocytosis will not occur.